Michelle forced to come home from vacay after finding out what just happened to tax paid gravy train. The left is always claiming that they are the champions of the poor and disenfranchised of America. That they are the party that is in place to stop the evil Republicans from harming minorities and of course, the children. Conservatives have known for a long time that the left is full of it, but for some reason, people keep electing them in office. The Obamas are case in point of liberal hypocrisy. These humble servants for years have sold to their liberal followers that they are people of meager means. However, that is a tough sell considering all the lavish vacations they have been taking recently. Well, that appears to be about to change after Michelle Obama was forced to come home from her opulent vacation. Ever since Barack Obama has been out of office, Michelle and her family have been living the high life. Now, no one in their right mind would argue that after a president's term is up that the family relaxes a bit. After all, the job of president is incredibly taxing on the body. However, since the Obama's departure from the White House, the former first family has been living extravagantly off of the taxpayer's dime. For instance, after leaving office in January, Obama took his family to Marlon Brando's private island in Bali. Shortly after that, Obama then took his family to the Four Seasons where rooms cost up to $2,000 a night, and I am sure he did not pick the economy suite. Then the Obamas continued their spend a lot money tour to a Palm Springs estate, then on to Sir Richard Branson's Necker Island that has a nightly price tag of $80,000. Then they jaunted off to the exclusive Mid Pacific Country Club in Oahu, the 13th century Borgo Finocchio in Tuscany, and the Rising Sun, Hollywood studio mogul David Geffen's private yacht. These are some of the most luxurious travel destinations in the world. Many of our clients spend tens of thousands of dollars or more to stay at these resorts, which cater to the most discriminating and demanding guests, said Kendra Thornton, travel expert and owner of luxury travel agency Royal Travel. For example, Necker Island has a nightly price tag of $80,000. Anyone who stays at these properties does so because they want the best of the best. For years, conservatives have said that this family needs to be held accountable. But liberal politicians balked. Now, it seems that Democrats are seeing the error of their ways and the arrogance of the Obamas. It has been reported by USA Today that Congress is now considering a bill that would potentially cut off all pension payments to past presidents if they currently earn $400,000 or more in a fiscal of year, which Obama clearly has been making. Oh, but here is where Barack Obama's hypocrisy really shines. Last year, Obama vetoed this very bill when it was first introduced to him. Obama said that this bill would have unintended consequences and impose onerous and unreasonable burdens on former presidents by requiring them to immediately lay off staff and find new office space. Here is more from USA Today. Last year, then-President Barack Obama vetoed a bill that would have curbed the pensions of former presidents if they took outside income of $400,000 or more. So now that former President Barack Obama has decided to accept $400,000 for an upcoming Wall Street speech, the sponsors of that bill say they'll reintroduce that bill in hopes that President Trump will sign it. The Obama hypocrisy on this issue is revealing, said Rep. Jason Chaffetz, Republican Utah, chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee and sponsor of the 2016 bill. His veto was very self-serving. Chaffetz and Senator Joni Ernst, Republican Iowa, the sponsor of the Companion Senate Bill, say they will reintroduce the Presidential Allowance Modernization Act this month. The bill would cap presidential pensions at $200,000, with another $200,000 for expenses. But those payments would be reduced dollar for dollar once their outside income exceeds $400,000. The issue isn't a partisan one, or at least, it wasn't last year. The bill passed both the House and Senate with no opposition, and no veto threat had come from the White House. So when Obama's veto came on Friday night last July, on the last day for him to sign or veto the legislation, it took lawmakers by surprise. It was the 11th of Obama's 12 vetoes. It should come as no surprise that Obama would veto this bill when it reached his desk considering the level of his greed.
the Obamas do not care about the American people or the how much money they cost all of us as long as they get what they want. It is disgusting that Obama had the audacity to call himself the people's president and then act in such a gluttonous way. I truly hope that this bill is passed quickly so that these leeches do not get more money from us that they do not deserve, not deserve.